So I normally advance the timing and all these predators around here with the stop flywheels with the um, flywheel key. Generally I'll put like a seven degree flywheel key in there. And um, it usually helps with throttle response. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a seven degree flywheel key to this Tillerson. Cause these flywheels are, I don't know, like in the 24 to 26 range um, of timing. So I'm gonna go ahead and add like another seven with this. So it'll be in the low 30s. So hopefully it'll make it more throttle responsive. I guess we'll find out. Go ahead and pull off this blower housing. Off this beast. All right. And that, go ahead and loosen up this coil. A lot of times I can get the flywheel off without taking the coil off, but this one has the um, teeth for the uh, starter. So there's no way I'm gonna get this flywheel off with this coil on here. So I might have to take her off, or at least raise it up. All right, go ahead and yank this off. This this earthquake will rip this thing right off, man. 21 millimeter socket on a Tilly. Get right off. All right. I'm gonna put this nut back on here pretty flush so that way it doesn't mess up the threads when I hit it. I'm gonna take my pry bar. And I gotta watch this Tillerson has some charging coils behind there. So you gotta kinda be careful. The pry back here. There it is. Oh, man, one little hit. I think it's pop right off. Yep, there's that. Pop this keyway out of here and hopefully she pops right out. Oh yeah. Perfect. Sweet. All right. Then you get the stock factory keyway and then the um, seven degree keyway. You can see the little ridge in the seven on the right. And the ridge has to be towards the front of the engine. So the flywheel leans up against that ridge and goes seven degrees forward. So it hits the uh, coil seven degrees sooner. You see the key, the ridge is facing forward. So the flywheel sets on the ridge and you turn the flywheel forward until it hits this ridge. And then the key has to be like horizontal with the shaft, low on this side, high on this side. So you can see it low on this side, high on this side, so it's like horizontal with the shaft. So now the flywheel will slide on all the way. So there's that. So now let me slide this beast back on here and make sure that it's forward, turn forward against the um, keyway. You can feel the slop in it or the seven degree groove in there. So you gotta make sure it's forward. Put this beast back on here. Hopefully, this thing used to fit. Oh, there it goes. And that. Put the nut back on. Now, I use my trusty homemade flywheel tightener. Made this out of an old clutch. Let's put this beast on here. Yeah, this thing does a really good job at holding that flywheel. We're torquing it down. Then, the ideal way to torque it is one motion. There it is. Done. All right. Put the coil back on. To make it easy to put the coils back on, I just made up these sleeves. And I'm gonna set it around 30 thousandths because it's a stock magnet. So this one should be right around 30 thousandths. Yep. I put these sleeves under the coil. Anyway, hold her down. All right, there's that. Your 30 thousandths. Go ahead and put the um, blower housing back on, and we should be good to go, hopefully. And if it doesn't run, at least it looks cool, because that's all that really counts, is it looks good. I mean, who cares if it runs? If it doesn't run, just think it uses less gas.
All right, there we go. Seven degree flywheel key. Now hopefully that'll make it more snappy. We'll see.